Hello everyone. Welcome to Come Sit at My Table. We are Tom and Melissa and we're thrilled that you have joined us. Today we are making what I call the Cadillac of French Toast. Now this is a recipe that I found years and years ago and honestly I don't even know where I got it. But it's a really good French toast recipe and it's got a couple of ingredients in it that are a little unusual. So let's talk about how we're going to make it first. This French toast has a cinnamon crunch topping on top of it before you bake it. Yes, I said bake it. This is going to be made in the oven, not on the stove top. And we're going to put a cinnamon crunch topping on top of each slice of French toast before we put it in the oven. So that's a little different. And then I'll show you something else that's a little strange in just a minute. Let's make our cinnamon crunch topping first. And this is what we're going to need. First, we need one and a half sticks of softened butter. We're also going to need one cup of packed light brown sugar, one tablespoon of light corn syrup. Now, if you don't have light corn syrup, you can certainly leave it out of this. I like it in, in this dish, but it is not necessary. So if you don't have it, don't go buy it just to use a tablespoon of light corn syrup in this. Then you need one teaspoon of cinnamon and a really big pinch of nutmeg. So let's make this first, and then we'll talk about how to make our um, French toast. So let's get our one and a half sticks of butter in our bowl. We want at least half of that. Let's go a little heavy on that. We're going to put our cup of brown sugar in. Start to mix that up a little bit. We're going to add our tablespoon of light corn syrup. And I did spray the inside of my tablespoon with some nonstick spray because it just makes it easier to get the corn syrup out of it after you're finished and you're ready to do cleanup. All right, so there's our tablespoon of light corn syrup. Oh, there's our oven. It's ready. Well, I scraped it and didn't even need to. It all came out. That's good. Then we'll add our teaspoon of cinnamon and a good, healthy pinch of nutmeg. Now, I can get a lot in a pinch but I like nutmeg, so I'm gonna put just a hair extra. Okay. Let me close these up, get them out of the way. And let's mix this up. Now, this is not going to be thin. It's going to be a pretty stiff topping. Uh, I'll tell you, I think a fork might work a little better to get that mixed up. And if it's, if the butter's a little too firm, I may just stick it in the microwave for a few seconds and loosen that up a little bit. Let's see how that works. Now that's better, but I still think it probably needs to be a little looser. That butter's just not quite soft enough. So let's just throw that in the microwave. that about 15 seconds and let that soften up just a little bit. I'll go ahead and tell you that the ingredient that's in the um, milk mixture that's a little strange is all-purpose flour. Most people do not use all-purpose flour when they're making what do you mean in the milk mixture for the... To, to, to dip the okay. egg or the bread in. Gotcha. Let's see if that's better. Um, most people don't. Yeah, that's better. Most people do not put flour in it when they're making French toast. 
But I'm gonna tell you, I really like it because it makes it just a little thicker. Oh yeah, that really helped. That'll be much more spreadable. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be so good on top there. I might have to watch behind me. Because if I turn my back, Melissa might be in this with a spoon. That's really good. Like okay. Cinnamon nutmeg combination. Mm. Yep. Okay, so we're finished making our cinnamon crunch topping. Now, let's make our, I don't know what to call it, our milk mixture that we're going to dip our eggs, our bread in. Now, we're going to start with eight eggs. And we're just going to kind of whisk those a little bit, by the way, don't you love this bowl? Where'd that bowl come from, Melissa? My high school friend's Tina. It was a Christmas present for me. That's right. Show. Thank you, Tina. Tina gave, us, <laughs> Tina gave us a whole set of these bowls, and they are really nice bowls. Are these Pioneer Woman? They are. Yeah, that's what I thought. They are really nice bowls. They're easy to use. I like them because they're deep. You, uh, you don't splatter stuff out at me. You see how hard I'm whisking? Staying right in there. These are nice bowls. Thank you, Tina. All right, now we're adding to this two cups of half and half. So we'll pour that in. Two cups. And one cup of whole milk. Two cups, half and half, one cup of whole milk. I don't want to get all that in there. I see some more. Okay. Then we're going to add one, no, two teaspoons of vanilla. So there's one, two. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Then we're going to add in four tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one half teaspoon of nutmeg, and one half teaspoon of salt. We'll just put those four in. Everybody into the pool. And our quarter cup of all-purpose flour. And then we're just going to whisk that all together. Now, I've talked about this recipe before with friends, and I think I even posted it on my Facebook page one time. And I had several people who said, I just don't know about putting that all-purpose flour in there. I've never heard of anybody doing that. I'm not sure that would work. Trust me, it works. I promise you it works, and it works well. It just kind of thickens up that batter a little bit when you dip the, the egg into it and it bakes. It just, I don't know, it thickens it up. It's really nice. Okay. There we go. We're all whisked up. And now we're ready to do our bread. Now, you can use any kind of bread that you want for French toast. You can just use regular sandwich bread. That's all my mom ever used. When I was growing up and my mom made French toast, and we had it sometimes for dinner, um, but more often for breakfast. But she just used sandwich bread. But I really like this, I, I guess it's pronounced artesano, brioche. I love brioche bread anyway. But this is really good for French toast. It's our favorite. I'm not telling you to use it. Just use whatever bread you have and whatever you like. But Sarah Lee knows what she's doing with bread. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sarah Lee is pretty good at bread. Now, all I'm going to do is dip this in the milk mixture. And I'm going to kind of push it down. Maybe flip it over. You want it to soak. 
You don't want it to be dry because you want that, that milk mixture to be all the way through that bread. You don't want it to get so soft that it falls apart on you. And then just take it out. I'm gonna scoot this over a little bit. And you're just going to line it up on a parchment paper lined baking sheet. I'm not sure I can get this whole loaf on this one baking sheet. I'm sure gonna try, but I don't think I can. I don't think I've been able to before when I've made it. I've had to do another, an extra two or three pieces. Well, obviously this is gonna be way more than we can eat. Yes, and so do you wanna tell them what we do with the extra? We, of course, freeze it. We do. it for a quick meal later. That's right. We, um, we believe in freezing leftovers or sometimes we vacuum seal leftovers. But for this, we after we bake it, we just put it on another parchment paper lined cookie sheet or tray like this and stick it in the freezer. We're big believers of parchment paper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should have bought stock in a parchment paper company. Um, and we let it freeze completely solid then we put them in Ziploc baggies and freeze them. And when we're in a hurry or you know, one of us wants breakfast and the other one's like, eh, I really don't want anything this morning. We can grab a piece of French toast, stick it in the toaster. Putting it in the toaster works really well. Gets it nice and hot and a little crispy on the outside um, or even in the microwave. Stick it in the microwave for just a few seconds. Yum. And you've got fresh French toast. And you can see that I'm not dipping these for too long, but they are saturated. When you take them out, you can tell how heavy they are. Let me grab some more bread out of here. Okay. Now, I'm not sure that you want to stay and watch me dip every piece of bread. So let me finish dipping these and get them on this tray. And when they're all dipped and on here, we will come back and put the cinnamon crunch topping on top of them. So we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Well, I'm spreading the cinnamon crunch topping on each piece. You don't have to have a big thick layer. This is just going to melt and kind of, I guess, caramelize on top of the French toast, giving it just a little bit of a crunchy top to it, a little bit of sweetness. I'm sure you noticed that when we mixed up the batter to dip our bread in, we only used four tablespoons of sugar. So that batter, that milk mixture, is not overly sweet. So this cinnamon crunch topping gives it just a little bit of extra sweetness. I like the crunchiness. Yes. I don't like it necessarily soggy French toast. Well, yeah, you know, it's I know. It's okay, but I like the crunch part of it. I know you don't, but I like it. I like it a little crunchy on the outside, but I like the middle to be. I want the middle to be soft, but I like yeah. the crunchiness on the outside of it. I hesitate to say this because I know you don't like custard, but I like the middle of it to be kind of custardy, kind of, I don't know, soggy and custardy. And I know you don't like custard, so. Well, I know what you're talking about, the consistency of it. Yeah, yeah. So, we're just going to spread some on each one of these. Now, we are gonna bake this at 350 degrees. It's going to depend on your oven, how long it takes. Um, our oven is so hot and sometimes it bakes a whole lot faster than what we expect. But when I've made this before, we've baked it about 30, 35 minutes. I'm kind of expecting that this may not take quite that long, but it might. You just never know about this new oven of ours. Sometimes 
we'll bake something and think, okay, this is gonna take forever to bake, and it doesn't. I want a little more right there. Come on, get on there. There we go. By the way, I got 12 slices, I think. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I got 12 slices on here. And we had 13 slices in the bag plus the two ends. Now, I know some people do not like the ends of the bread. My mom and dad always called them the heel. And some people just don't like that, and that's okay. But I do. We always ate the heel when I was growing up. Um, we didn't waste anything. <laughs> we ate every bite of everything. So I will go ahead and fix those other three that we couldn't get on here. But I just won't worry about doing it for this video. So I do want to save a little bit of this cinnamon crunch topping to go on those three pieces. Okay. Now, we are going to put these in the oven. And when they're good and done, we will come back and take them out and let you see what they look like. Uh, did I do the top or the bottom? I think I did the top. Here we go. All right. Our French toast has been in for 40 minutes. You're going to really enjoy this. Look at that. That's beautiful. Should we tell on ourselves? If you think we must. <laughs> you know we can't keep a secret. <laughs> Melissa and I've already had three pieces. We Not fixed each. No. Well, I wasn't going to say how, who had how much. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> one of us had one piece, one had two. I'll let you figure out who had what. Okay. And look, the, the uh, sugar on top has... Whoop, there we go. Everything's beeping. Timer off. Um... It's kind of caramelized. It's so good you don't even need syrup. No, no, I, I should have said that earlier. You do not need syrup with this. If you want to put syrup on it, you can. If you prefer syrup, I guess you could leave the cinnamon topping off and just have syrup, but I prefer what? this. What? That's, that's just, just horrible to say. Well, yeah, I guess you could, but. It's too much, I, mean, if you're, I prefer it this way, but. But some people, people might like not. both. You know, I don't know. Like really wonderful Vermont okay. maple syrup. I'll something. just tell you, on our three pieces, we did not put syrup. We, we just had the toast. Here, now don't, don't get my hand in this. I'm going to try to cut this piece loose too. I was like, why don't you just take a bite? I don't want to. Actually, I shouldn't because I've already had a piece, but... You know, this piece loose right here. They do tend to stick together because you have that sugar on there. And as it bakes, it hardens. So, look at that. Yum, yum. And Melissa and I like to... Put a side of bacon with it. And I'll tell you, we like our bacon a little wimpy. We don't like hard, crunchy bacon. So, there's our baked French toast. And I know that this is going to be really hot. But I'm still going to take a bite. It will be, when it cools, this top part, the um, sugar and cinnamon part, will get kind of firm. Now that it's hot, it's still kind of um, a little bit soft. 
that it will firm up. The nice thing about baking it is that if you have a crowd, they'll all be finished. It'll all be ready at the same time. That's true. Yeah, you can feed everybody at once this way. Where you if and you're I doing just it, took the leftovers and... Yeah, we just took leftovers and fixed, fixed it in a skillet. Which is a really good point. You can do this in a skillet. Use this same recipe and use a griddle or a skillet and you can do just like you would regular French toast. You don't have to bake it. Just fix it in a skillet on the stove top if that's what you wanna do. But we like doing this because we do it all at once. Um, we don't have to stand there and fry it and watch it and make sure it doesn't burn. So we can do it this way. And especially if we have company that we're serving it. You know, everybody can eat at one time because it's always already at one time. So that was a good point. I'm glad you brought that up. Okay, here we go. That is wonderful. It is plenty sweet. The cinnamon is great. We should call this baked cinnamon French toast because it really is kind of cinnamony. Man, that is good. That is so good. Okay. Since I've only had one piece, I may eat that one. That's why I had two because I knew you would eat one on the video. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell who had two. Oh, I don't care. Tell them. I had two. Okay. Tina Serber. Thank you so much for the bowls. They are great bowls. We've, we've enjoyed them. They're perfect for something like this. The whole set is wonderful. If you would, we'd appreciate you going below the video and giving us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, click the subscribe and the little notification bell. And share our videos if you would. And leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about French toast. Let us know if you had French toast when you were a kid or if you had it for breakfast or dinner. When did your parents serve you French toast? When, do you, when did you serve it to your children when they were growing up? Leave us a message. We like reading those. Melissa reads everyone and then she reads them to me. So leave us a message. We enjoy those. Remember, you are always welcome to come sit at my table. Have a great day. Mm.